Hi everyone, it's Suzette from Suzette's Craft Studio. Um, today I'm here to do a tutorial on how to make these four slot um, pockets. Uh, Sharon, one of my subscribers, thank you Sharon for suggesting it, asked me to make a video. I normally don't do these. If I do get a lot of likes and a lot of subscribers, I will continue to make some tutorial videos. Um, but let's go ahead and get started because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised how quick and easy these are to make. So first you need to start off with a pretty wide piece of paper. This, this I found, um, so I don't have to use my 12 by 12 sheets of paper because those can be pretty costly. And of course you want to make everything, you know, of um, already used paper or paper that is a, a cost effective. Um, music sheets, old, you can get these probably for 50 cents a book, a dollar a book um, for music uh, books are the, the easiest and the fastest way to get this size. This is nine by 11. And literally you just fold it in half and then you fold it up. Um, I usually come down and I do not measure it. I eyeball it and it's about approximately two inches. Depends on how tall and how far apart you want um, these slots. And you'll get, you'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, first next step, and just know if you do it this way, this is gonna be upside down. If you took it and folded it this way, the back part's gonna be upside down. But you, if you decorate it, you're not even gonna tell. So it, to me, it really doesn't make a difference. I do not um, have a preference. Um, if I just fold, that's how it ends up being folded. This first part, fold down. And I usually leave a little bit of an edge. I don't go, go all the way here. And you just kind of want a right, a nice right angle there. And then I do the same thing on this page. Whoops, let's get that folded. And the reason I do this one before I do this one is then I take this one and try to eyeball it. I don't again measure um, to where it's kind of the same even width. Usually you have to go in a little bit more than halfway because then when you squish it down. Um, if it's not perfect, no big deal. I Sometimes I'll refold if it's really off, but most of the time I don't. And then same thing with this one. I literally just eyeball it and fold it. So as you can see, you already have your four slots here. Now, if you like this flap down and showing in the front, you're just gonna take some glue and glue it down. I prefer to have them all folded back. So these two that are facing front, I will just open this up and fold the papers back. Um, one of my recommendations is don't glue anything together until the, now I would glue the flaps back and I have one here that I've already already glued, glued the flaps. But don't glue this flap. Make that be your last thing after you've decorated it. And the reason being is it's just easier when you're decorating and you're gluing stuff if you need to, especially when you get to this one or this one, you can open it up a little bit and then cut. Um, it's not a big deal if you've I've glued it before and got anxious before I decorated it. It just makes it a little bit. You have to be a little bit more careful so you're not cutting any of the edges when you're when you're cutting your stuff off. Now at this point, I like to um, age. I like to take my little thing and age everything. Um, and I've done it here just to save time. You don't, again, you don't have to do that. That's a preference as well. For me, I just think it, it kind of brings out the edges to where you can see the different slots. And then from there, you basically just decorate how you want to. Um, you can use, I'm just gonna pull out some, some things to you can use really narrow. And this one has a glitter to it. You can use up some of those when you have a 12 by 12 sheet and it has that top one inch rim of what do I do with these, right? So there's the top of it. These look great here too. You can decorate all three, even this one. You can decorate one, four. Um, and so let me give you some examples. On this one, I only decorated the second and the fourth slot. 
right? I've left this front to decorate here and I've left this one open. I added, you know, some butterflies just to, to add some blingy bling bling. Um, you can make it a little bit dressed down here. I had some really, really thin trim. Um, and so I used that. And then I made this a little pocket, right? So you could slide something in here as well to make that a fifth slot. Um, on this one, I variegated it, right? And made different ones to just to bring out the greens and the blues in here. Added a word, added some lace and some buttons. So there's a lot, you have lots of different things to be creative. You could also use um, washi tape, right? Any extra ribbon, lace, trim, all of this stuff. Be creative. It's, it's a lot of fun um, just trying to figure out, you know, what you want to do. Um, one of the things I do want to also take note before we leave and finish up is when you're putting it on, pretend this is your page, um, don't put it really close to here because then when you do bind it, it kind of, st st these kind of stick out. So I would put, give yourself maybe about a half an inch to an inch. Um, and then also one of the things I forgot to say too is I do not glue these little ledges down because if you have a bigger piece of paper then it can kind of hang over the edge um, but when you do glue it down obviously you'd want to glue this one first and then just glue here and here and that way you have this is your fourth slot if you're a lefty you probably want to fold it so instead of folding it and having the folded edge on this side you're going to fold it and have the folded edge on this side or if you want to do it where the, it's coming in this way so the paper doesn't slide, the slots aren't, aren't here to where they could possibly slide out. My um, last recommendation is to put it on, if you have a book and you have the, the left side and the right side, I tend to like to put it on the right side of the page because when you, um, if it's on the left side, let me use this one, and you have the book like this, right? That all of that stuff kind of tends to fall out when you turn the page. The weight of it being on the uh, right side of the page tends to hold it down and it kind of just flips over easier. Um, that's it. I hope you guys got some in inspiration. Again, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if I get a lot of more subscribers, I'll start doing more of these tutorials. Thanks. Bye-bye.